Hey, Warren, you left your phone alone in your room. So I figured I'd leave you this video. York McFordman. Okay, I've got everything sorted at registration. By the way, it's weird how there's registration, right? Um, Callie, where did you go? Ah, there's my dear nephew. Hi, Uncle Cayman. I see you started to settle into your room. How was it then? That's really still kind of a surprise. I mean, like 24 hours ago, I was just walking through Astoria thinking about going to Starbucks. I haven't thought about school in almost a decade, and now I'm like grad school Harry Potter. Uh, don't remind me of that. One of the only missteps I've made in my position at the Department of Temptation. God, that mission was supposed to attract countless children to the occult. And of course, the one above would sneak in his little morality lessons. <laughs> at least we got it right with that vampire one. Tell a teenage girl to stay pure until marriage, and suddenly she's a raging necrophiliac. Who knew? I thought you worked for the IRS. Oh, that's the half-truth of it. Everyone at the IRS is a demon. <laughs> Does Mom know? Uh, your mother is a troubled woman. It's best to leave all that behind. You're beginning an incredible journey. I could always tell you had a gift. And when you started causing your mother trouble, I took a particular interest in keeping my eye on your development. I took it upon myself to pull a few strings and get you into my old, uh, alma mater. Old Gubslop isn't still the headmaster, is he? Yes, I met with him. He's interesting. He's a fool. Hmm. Pity. I'll have to keep tabs on you occasionally, make sure you're progressing appropriately. You have quite a lot of work to do. So all of this is real? I'm really what you say I am? A demon. Yes, Warren. Doesn't it feel fantastic? Oh, for Hades' sake, Sigmund! Third strike! Pity. Uh, I'm sorry, Warren. I have some disciplining to do. I look forward to our chats. Was that you? Man, I almost had it too. I have a quiz tomorrow on discreet unzipping. Cool necklace, by the way. Where is that from? Were you in here the whole time? Did you see my whole conversation? How else am I going to unlock the mystery that is Warren Wood? When you figure it out, let me know. Your friend sure likes the sound of his own voice. It's my uncle, Callie. I'm starting to realize he's a very dangerous man. I'm starting to think I might be dangerous too. This is serious. I didn't ask for any of this. Hey, how about instead of spiraling into an inescapable existential abyss, we get some coffee. Ooh, let's go to the new common room down the hall. They've got this coffee maker there. You gotta see. Like a Keurig? No, a human. It's a crooked insurance broker who's been damned for all eternity making venti extra mocha half-calf lattes. I think I'm supposed to meet my roommate. Warren, you're in demon training. It's okay to break the rules. That's sort of like the first rule. Plus, from what I heard your uncle say, you have a little experience breaking the rules. Yeah, that was a lot to handle as a kid. Good, me too. You wouldn't believe half the stuff I used to do. Sixty-six no, can I, can I acre Astoria Park, please? located um, on the east shore of you're the Hellgate Channel, across from the Rose Island and no, the Western Queen. The complex has a panoramic view. Watch this. Hey! How about a couple of cold brews? Yeah! Cool, right? I've always been struggling.
sort of pulled to the less techniques. Of course, I'm a legacy. My mom trained here. She practically invented the less techniques. I don't know. My mom is human. I'm not sure where I fit in with all of this. Well, you'll know soon enough. That is one of the many reasons I am so thankful I don't have any human in me. Why would being human change anything? Because they're cursed with free will. But we don't have to worry about any of that. We're given our instincts. Predestination is so liberating. What if I really am human? Up until yesterday, I thought I was. Some sort of huge mistake. I can't even figure out how much cream to put in my coffee. I think I can help. It's great. I need help understanding what's been going on. It's just, it's all very confusing. It's a surprise that I wasn't expecting any of this. Like everything I thought I knew is just completely changed. Warren. Why does she keep doing that? What is this place? Well, this is the site of some sort of fallen star. An attack from heaven that missed and fell here. So these stones, they have a kind of magic power. That sounds crazy. The school janitor has the hooves of a goat in a lion's mane. You think this sounds crazy? Fair enough. What are we doing here? We've all done this. It's kind of like a game demons play when they're younger. You read your syllabus, right? It says we have seven major assignments, one for each deadly sin. So you know what those are? Yeah, lust, gluttony, greed, sloth, wrath, envy, and pride. Okay. These stones create a magic circle around you. With humans, nothing happens. But with a demon, the stones will burn with colors associated with each sin. Like, lust is blue, gluttony is orange, and so on. The stone that glows brightest is like your astrological sign. Just close your eyes. Now, when you feel compelled to speak. from my childhood, at school, things I tried to forget, it was so vivid. Yeah, you have a lot going on. You're gonna fit in just fine. What is this? It was my dad's. The great mystery of Warren Wood. So it was just you and your mom then? Yeah. So, who's Jordan? What? Jordan? You said what sounded like a name over there with the stones. Sometimes they have a way of doing that, bringing up painful memories. Surprise! Must have been Jordan Dexter. He was this asshole from high school. Total burnout jock. Kind of a bully. Always used to try to blame me for his mistakes. He used to call me Worm. I was shorter. Jordan Dexter, stupid name. Man, I have to go back to my room. I was supposed to meet my roommate half an hour ago. I'll see you later. Count on it.
You must be my roommate. I'm Warren. Worm. Jordan? Mm.